Hello everyone. So in today's tutorial, what I'll be doing is I'll be creating this texture and exporting it to Roblox Studio and exporting this model along with it. So uh, to get started, what I'll be doing is just deleting these two materials which I created below. So let me just delete that. Then what I'll be doing is just going to the shading tab right here. Then I'll be creating new to create a new material for it. And you will see something like this. So what I want you to do is do shift A to add a wave texture. Just search wave texture right here. And just click right here, left click. So now what you want to do is connect this to the base color. Now what you'll see is somewhat like this. Uh, this is basically just creating a wave along the x direction so i want it to be along the z directions so i'll be changing this x to the z like this so the next part is to shorten this uh, black and white patterns so i'll be uh, just selecting this wave texture and pressing ctrl t what will this do is bring me texture coordinate and mapping node you can uh, select mapping node and change this parameter to just tweak the options like that so if you just if you cannot do control t and this two aren't adding what you can do is go to edit preferences add-ons and then you can search here node wrangler so here you can see the third add-on so you can just click on this checkbox you can click refresh and you can just close the window so the next process is to add a color ramp so we'll just search and add a color ramp and just uh, put it on this line right here so we'll see something like this nothing really changes but if you just bring it down a little bit and just just make this scale uh, smaller and change this linear to constant so that we'll just get like this now it's your choice to how you want to make this cone you can make this like this you can change the colors right here uh, now i can see if i just see my reference i searched a traffic cone my traffic cone looks somewhat like this so i'll be creating a stripe pattern like this so I can see that the stripe pattern, the basically the two patterns are white and the other is orange. So uh, I'll just make the black part a bit of a orange color. Somewhat uh, like that. Yeah, that is, I guess that's okay. Maybe a bit darker and uh, you can tweak it uh, how you want but yeah so i want there to be two of these uh, patterns right here now to adjust these uh, stripes you can also select the phase offset and change this right like this or you can just select the x uh, the z value from the mapping node and change the number of stripes that you want so I want like this, so I'll leave it like this. So yeah. So this is the color setup for the color. I want it to be a bit reflective or shiny. So what I'll be doing is uh, creating the roughness, lowering the roughness to 150-ish value, or maybe a little bit thick, like that. So, uh, after that, what I'll be doing is just duplicating this color ramp. Oops. Okay, I'll be duplicating this color ramp and just putting this color node into the factorial and making this black color, uh, this orange color to a black color. After that, I want you to shift A and add a bump node. Oops, uh, bump node. And just connect the normal to the normal of the principal bhdf and the color to the height of the pump node you can see that there isn't much of a difference right here but there is a small indent right here 
so in uh, real life cones this shouldn't be happening but to just show how to bake the uh, normal textures the color and the roughness map i'll be doing that so now uh, what i'll do is i'll assign the base a different texture so i'll just go into edit mode and i'll select this bottom mesh and just click l so while that's selected i'll just click on this slot and add another slot and create a new texture and assign it to that i'll just make it a bit of a orange or yellowish color this is to show you on how to bake texture with two different materials like this so this is where our baking process starts so what i want you to do is shift a search a image texture and just click right here after that what i want you to do is just click on this new button right here and change the name to anything that you want i'll be changing it to cone color roblox now ideally the roblox just accepts 10 into 1024 by 1024 texture but it's uh recommended to just make it 2k or 2048 so that roblox downscales it and it's a bit a better quality just click on ok and make sure to turn off alpha uh, if you want your textures to be transparent like this just click uh, just leave the alpha on otherwise you can just leave uh, just turn off the alpha so uh, after that what i want you to do is just select this control c and control v right here so what we are doing here is just selecting this uh, texture map image texture map and copying it and pasting it on the other materials that you have so say if you have four materials right here you will paste it into the all the materials right here so that all of the color bakes rightly into the texture map after this what i want you to do is go to edit mode select all by clicking a and then press u for unwrap and then select smart tv project and just uh, change the island margin to 0 0.001 and just click on OK. So what this will do is just unwrap your mesh into somewhat like this shape. So after that, what we'll want to do is go to the uh, render properties and the basic, uh, the default settings will be on EV. I want you to change it to cycles and change the CPU to GPU if you have one. Then go below and you will see a bake option right here. Just click on that. And from the bake type, just select diffuse. Diffuse is basically the color or the albedo channel. So just make sure that these two boxes are off uncheck and just the color is checked. And then you can just select this. Make sure that the image textures in both the materials are selected and then create uh, press bake so as you can see we have our texture map right here baked correctly into a image texture so what we'll want to do is save these image textures so we'll go into these three lines right here and click on image save and just save it wherever you want i'll be saving it on desktop and make the compression to zero and save as image now to just bake the roughness and normal map what i want you to do is just create a new image by pressing on the x and clicking on new and just name it cone normal or the roughness let's just bake the roughness first and make it Make sure that it's 2048 pixel and the alpha is turned off and then press OK. Then go to the uh, bake type and select your reference. Make sure that this image texture is on the other material too. So delete this material and paste this. Make sure that both of them are selected and just click bake. What this will do is just bake the uh, respective roughness onto a similar 
roughness map. So as you can see, we have a different roughness map. As you can see, the bottom one is a bit rougher, so it's more to the white value, and the top one is reflective, so it's more to the gray value. So the next one, which will be first of all, you will make sure that you save this image. Just make sure the compression is zero and save as image. So the next one is to make a normal map. So we'll name it known normal. Press OK. As you can see there is already an cone normal image in this project folder. So it's making 0 0.001. Just copy this texture and go to the slot to delete this one and paste this one. Then change the bake type to normal and just hit on bake. So as you can see, our normal map is also baked. You cannot see much of a difference because it's very small, but you can see that there is a small line right here. We'll save this image to compression zero and save as image. So there we have it. We have baked a normal roughness and albedo. To bake the metallic map, you just have to Make the metallic one, then go to normal, uh, go to bake type and select glossy. You won't have a metallic option right here. You have to select glossy option. Right now, I'll be just uh, baking these three texture maps. So yeah, so let's just make the metallic zero. Then click on your model. Go to file, export and as FBX or as OBJ. I'll be selecting FBX. Go to desktop or wherever you want. Just name it whatever you want, traffic cone, Roblox. Make sure that you have selected object selected right here. And then you can press export FBX. So let's go to Roblox Studio. So here we have our scene. Make sure that you go to game settings and you save your scene right here. And then you can come into this scene and just hit on import 3D. Go to desktop. Search for the traffic cone Roblox. Just import it. Just, sit, uh, just select import. After that, you can just select it and scale it down till whatever you want. I'll be doing it till that. After that, you'll just click on the cylinder in the hierarchy and just adding a surface appearance option. Click on that and you'll see four options, color, metalness, normal, and roughness. What I want you to do is uh, select the color map, press on add image, choose file, and just select the file which you have picked right now. So I had big cone color Roblox. So I'll be selecting that. And I'll be opening that. Hit create. And it should create a image texture, which will be for this mesh. So as you can see, our model has been correctly imported and the uh, textures have also been imported. We'll also import the normal map and the roughness map. So we have also imported our normal map. This takes some time, so it might just take one or two minutes or maybe few seconds. So let's just select cone roughness and just hit on create. And as you can see that uh, it will maybe take a few seconds and then it will update its roughness. You might also need to restart your Roblox Studio for it to take uh, effect. Most of the time it should work. So uh, that is that. This is how you uh, can export your model and the textures to Roblox Studio. And if you have any doubts, you can just, uh, just comment down in the comment section down below and I'll be replying to each one of you.